I'm Eric Egley, and welcome to this edition of Tech Tuesday. I do a lot of traveling with my business, and so I have different travel kits ready to go, uh, depending upon the type of photo shoot. They include camera, computer, tripod, all the, all the normal stuff that you would take on a shoot. The one bag that I'd like to make sure that I have some essential items uh, is my light modifier bag. Soft boxes, strip lights, uh, umbrellas, but the one thing that I want to make sure that I always have is the FJ Westcott Scrim Gym. There's a few reasons for this. Uh, number one, versatility. Number two, ruggedness, because I, I beat up my equipment quite a bit on location. And number three, quick setup and takedown. What I'd like to do is show some of the features and then get into some lighting techniques uh, and the reasons why I like it so much. So let's get started. One of the great features about the Scrim Gym is the multitude of fabrics you can get for it. Uh, what I have here is I have a sunlight, which is just a slight warming uh, reflector, the full silver, which really gives you a great reflectance uh, back into your subject, and then the gold, which gives you a real warm, warm light. And on the back of these, we have white. So if you don't need that real harsh reflection, you can get a real soft reflection uh, off, the, off the white side. On top of that, we also have a stop and a quarter silk and also a three quarter silk. So these are really great. And this is actually uh, what I use most of the time are the silks. Now, what you use to put this all together is a frame which is made out of uh, aircraft grade aluminum and it has Velcro along the edge, which you can pull the fabrics really tight with. So basically we have four different sizes, a four by four, a four by six, six by six, and an eight by eight. So there's a lot of versatility just in sizes alone. Uh, add to that all the fabrics and you got a great modifier. So let's get into some of the lighting techniques that I use uh, with the Scrim Gym. What we have here is the Large Softbox by F.J. Westcott. And this is a great tool for a lot of different situations, but it does have its limitations. Uh, as any softbox would, we have our light source at a fixed stationary position from our diffusion panel. And that means the way we change the quality of light is to either move the whole unit in closer to our subject or further away from our subject. That's a limitation that we can get beyond with the scrim gym. Because with the scrim gym, what I'm gonna do is simply leave the front of the diffusion panel in a stationary position and move the light source. This will change the style of light drastically. So let's go over and take a look at how we can do that. All right, with a little bit of help from our lovely Italian here, Kristen, I'm gonna show you how we can vary the style of this light and the quality of the light simply by moving our light source either closer or further away from our, our diffusion panel. What I have here is a six by six foot scrim gym with a stop and a quarter diffusion panel. And the quality of light that we're getting right now is a very even, all the way around, even light going head to toe on our tablet. So what I wanna do is basically give you, a, give you a shot to take a look at, see what kind of light we're getting, and then vary that light by bringing that light source in, getting a much smaller cone of light, and you'll see that the style is going to change drastically. And that's without moving that diffusion panel at all. Okay, Kristen, here we go. Great, turn your head to the left just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, good, excellent. Okay. As you can see from the photo, very nice even lighting all the way from head to toe, very, very soft. Now remember, you can also increase the volume of light by putting two, three, four lights into the panel. You're only increasing quantity, but the quality will stay the same. Okay, as you can see, I brought our light source in considerably into our, uh, our Slim Gym panel. We're probably looking at about a foot, foot and a half away from our panel. And I've also uh, tightened that circle of light quite a bit. I mean, it's pretty drastic. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that our light is pointing directly at our talent's face, okay? And that way, all of our attention goes right to her face. With a light this 
small, basically, that, that source uh, coming in and that cone of light being diminished, we also have a, a fall off of the light or a diminishment of the light as we go down the bottom. So all of our attention stays right in her face. You can also see that we have a lot more shadow and definition in the cheeks and under the chin. All that is more defined because that quality of light has changed so much. Okay, let me take a real quick shot here. All right, Kristen. And turn your head just a little bit to the left. Just a little bit. There you go, good. Excellent. Now with the side-by-side -side comparison, you can see the original image where the light was very far away from the scrim is very soft and even. A very different look on the right with a, a closer, tighter pattern. Uh, very dramatic in comparison. The other thing that you have to remember is by bringing that light in tighter, of course, we're increasing the quantity of light. So you have to either reduce the power on that light source, okay, or you have to increase your rest stop. Very important. Otherwise, you're going to blow out the shot altogether. So remember to do that. Now, we are using this obviously in the studio, okay? I use this outside also. This is a great tool to use to diffuse direct sunlight. You get those harsh shadows with direct sunlight. This is a perfect tool. And, I, and actually, I like using the six by six foot outside with the uh, stop and a quarter or the three quarter stop silk. Um, it diffuses it really good. You can have an assistant or a family member hold it. It's very light, very easy to control. And so this is perfect, a perfect light modifier for any travel kit. In this demo, I was only shooting with one light source and one scrim gym. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll have a reflector scrim on the shadow side to kick a little bit of fill back in on that shadow area. So there's a lot of different techniques and styles that you can utilize these uh, for. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Tech Tuesday. Check back for PS Pointers coming up soon, and please check out my website, ericegglyphotography.com. Thanks.